Hello everyone. Welcome to Amasafti Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps to backup and restore Active Directory integrated DNS zones in Windows Server 2019 DNS Server. For this demo, we have Windows Server 2019 Domain Controller with DNS service. This is our Domain Controller name WS2K19-DC01 for mylab.local domain. And uh, if we open DNS Management Console, here we have our Active Directory Integrated DNS Zone underscore msdch.mylab.local and mylab.local. And as you know that for Active Directory, DNS is very important and that's why we want to take a backup of our Active Directory Integrated DNS Zone. For that, we need to use DNS CMD command. But first of all, I'm going to open a Windows File Explorer. Let's open C drive, Windows, System32. And that will be a DNS folder. Let's double click on it. Here we have a one directory with the name backup, but as you can see, there is a one text file and which is a empty. So there is nothing in backup directory. Here we have a two DNS file as well underscore mstcs.mylab.local.dns and mylab.local.dns. But this is not the original backup copy of our Active Directory integrated DNS zone. If we open it with the notepad, we can see there is not much information available under this text file. So I'm going to delete it. Let's delete it. Now let's open Windows PowerShell. So remember, already I have logged in as a domain administrator on this computer. So we have an appropriate permission to perform this task. Let's run command dnscmd slash zone export. And then you have to specify the name of your Active Directory integrated DNS zone. In our case, it will be a mylab.local. Fine. Then you have to specify the name of the text file where you want to export information about this Active Directory integrated DNS zone. For this demonstration, I'm giving the identical name mylab.local.dns.backup so we can identify that this is the text file for mylab.local DNS zone file. Now we simply need to press enter key. Then zone has been successfully exported into that text file. Now we are going to do the same for our underscore msdcs.mylab.local.dns zone as well. I'm going to keep the same identical name underscore mscs dot dot local dot dns dot backup let's press enter key fine and this two text file will be exported under that dns directory so let's go there fine you can see now we have a two files underscore mscs dot dot local dot dns dot backup and mylab dot local dot dns dot backup if you open notepad and if you check for the this text file, now here you can see we have a plenty of records, like all the SRV records are there in this text file. Fine, so this is the our backup copy of our Active Directory integrated DNS zone. Now we want to taste this backup file as well. Whether we can recreate our Active Directory integrated DNS zone by using this backup file or not. To do that, I'm going to delete this Active Directory integrated DNS zone. So remember, we are in a test environment. That's why I can do it directly. If you are in a production environment, I recommend it that first you take a backup of your Active Directory and then perform this one. Fine. Now both zones are successfully deleted from our DNS server. Now let's restore it by using the text file. For that, I'm going to create again new zone. Click on next and I'm going to select primary zone. Remember, do not select store the zone in Active Directory. Click on next and here we need to specify the name mylab.local in our case. Let's click on next. Now, the most important thing is that create a new file. No, we are going to use the existing file, but that file's name should be mylab.local.dns. So we need to rename that file. And that's the reason that why I have given this kind of name. Now I'm going to remove this uh, backup extension. Fine. So that file must be under this location. C colon slash windows slash system 32 slash DNS directory. And that is also mentioned here. Fine. 
So we are going to use this existing file which we have exported using DNS CMD command. Click on next. Now here we are not going to select anything. We will change later on. We simply need to click on next and finish. Now as you can see, a malloc local zone is created successfully with the using that text file and all the records are available there. Now we simply need to change this. First, I'm going to select dynamic update, but still we don't have that option because that option secure update will be only available for Active Directory integrated zone. Let's click on change button and here I'm going to select store the zone in Active Directory. Click on OK. Click on yes. And now I'm going to select a secure only. Fine. Click on apply and click on OK. Then we have successfully created malware local active directory DNS zone by using that backup file. If you click on for a lookup zone, you can see malware local is active directory integrated primary DNS zone. And if you go back to that uh, location here, let's uh, refresh that file is still there. Now uh, we are going to rename this uh, underscore msdcs dot dot local file as well. Let's remove the backup portion. Let's go back to DNS because we are going to create that zone as well. Clear the checkbox. Okay, click on next. Select use the existing file. Click on next. Next again, click on finish. Once you do that, now it's time to change the zone type. It will be a Active Directory integrated zone. Click on yes and select a secure only. Click on apply and click on OK. And now we have both Active Directory integrated zone up and running again in our DNS server. So this is the way how we can take a backup of Active Directory integrated DNS zone in Windows Server 2019. And we have also seen that how we can recreate those Active Directory integrated DNS zone using the backup copy of DNS file. That concludes our video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.